Lebanon announced Tuesday that Israeli airstrikes had killed 558 people, including 50 children, marking the deadliest day since the 2006 war. Health Minister Faris Abiyad stated that most victims were civilians countering Israeli claims of targeting combatants. He also reported 1,835 injured, treated across 54 hospitals. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky claimed the war with Russia is nearing its end, urging allies to strengthen Ukraine's army. During his U.S. visit, Zelensky plans to present a victory plan to President Biden and others. He added that Russian President Putin is afraid of Ukraine's Kursk operation. Telegram announced it will now share users' IP addresses and phone numbers with authorities holding valid warrants. CEO Pavel Durov confirmed the policy shift, aiming to deter criminal use of the platform. This marks a significant change for Telegram, previously known for its strict privacy stance. Pakistan is grappling with an outbreak of drug-resistant typhoid, especially affecting children. Superbug strains have rendered traditional antibiotics ineffective, raising concerns over public health. Rapid diagnostic tests are being employed to control the spread, but the growing resistance calls for urgent global intervention to develop new treatments. California became the latest of 13 states to ban or restrict smartphones in schools, with Governor Gavin Newsom signing the new law. The move reflects concerns over smartphone usage leading to mental health issues and impaired learning. Florida initiated the trend by banning phones in classrooms in 2023. The U.S. has deployed additional troops to West Asia, ready to evacuate Americans from Lebanon as tensions with Hezbollah escalate. While the Pentagon confirmed the deployment, no further details were provided. The new troops will support the 40,000 already stationed in the region but with a different mission. 